Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you are doing well today. There is the mockingbird. That's the one that makes all the beautiful songs. He can sing every song except for a couple. And he only sings when it's mating season. So I love the mockingbird. Their so his songs are beautiful and it's a blessing and I'm so thankful he came up here. They're kind of shy birds in a wave. They love fruit and I put out a blend of fruit and nuts and they know the good stuff is up here. There's my female cardinal and some others are coming back up and there is well, the mockingbird was right there so we'll stay right here. We're going, I'm going to focus on and I want to explore becoming a better person and there's lots of things that cover that we can improve on the way we our outlook is the way we are quick to become um, have a hot temper they'll say forgiveness uh, compassion love joy embracing the fruits of the spirit that God gives us so there's lots of ways we can become better people and I encourage each of us to explore personally how this, how we can improve. We know our strengths and weaknesses, we all have them. But today I'm going to talk about two things. They're kind of opposite of each other, but we're going to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, rest and praise. And there's a chickadee. We need rest. We can read about that in Hebrews 4:11, And also right below that, we get a taste of something we need to embrace. We need to realize, and this is just paraphrasing, that the Word of God is alive and active. It's sharper than any double-edged sword, and nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is laid bare to whom we must give account. So that says it all. That right there should make us better people and we know God is watching and we will be given, have to give an account of our blessings. And I'm not sure, I think that was a brown-headed nuthatch, which is a, really a big blessing. It is. They're becoming very, very more and more harder to see. And now we're going to jump to praise. So know that the, this is paraphrasing again in Psalms, 100 and that is the most beautiful all five verses we need to embrace this know that the lord is good and his love endures forever we should enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise shout for joy to the lord and always worship him with a thankful heart so we need to be thankful to become a better person that's for sure and why should we be thankful because we know that the lord is god it is he who made us, and there goes my squirrel buddy. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. And that is such a beautiful image. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Yes, praise him, <coughs> excuse me, because his love endures forever. And I love this, and this is not paraphrased. This is, <coughs> excuse me, Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. So we can find rest in God, it says it right there. In Ephesians 1, verse 3, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. And now here is a beautiful one. Isaiah 40, verses 29 through 31. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even young people grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint so we can rest and praise and learn and study and become better people and we can start this minute amen